Hello guys, I hope you all are doing good and here I am back with another video related to uh, another topic and another scholarship and this one is POSCO scholarship. Now we have seen that there has been a new category scholarship announced in GKS as well that is GKS UIC if you haven't checked that video please check that out and in this video I'll be talking about a new scholarship by POSCO that is only for natural sciences and engineering major applicants. Now what is this? So all you have to do is that first go to this website and you have to check out this recent notice which has been announced here and then you have to click here and then let's see so here is the recruitment announcement as you can see and it is only for natural science and engineering majors and here are the application forms which you can download now let me try to explain this whole information here so as you can see the criteria so this is only for Asians and as you can see those who have bachelor's degree and has potential to grow as a leader and blah 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 and students seeking enrollment in current graduate school for fall semester 2022 okay this is important and then students who wants to study natural sciences and engineering so this is not for arts major this is not for business major this is only for natural sciences and engineering majors and also those who hold the citizenship of a non-asian country or korea are excluded to apply so they can't apply now moving towards the benefits so as you can see for masters they'll be paying tuition fee living expenses and for doctoral integrated phd now what is integrated phd is like you'll be doing masters as well as phd combined so in that you'll be getting around 1 million won and then everything is like covered so you don't have to worry about these things now moving ahead how to apply so this whole process is online okay so this is a kind of cool process but in gks we have to send hard copy to universities or embassy but in POSCO scholarship everything is online so all you have to do is that fill the form and upload the documents and that's it. Now moving ahead so how to apply you have to download the attached application form which I showed here and then after downloading it you have to fill the application form so you have to click here and then one online application form will open and you have to fill your basic information upload the documents and that's it you have to submit the documents. Now the documents which you have to upload on the online application are these. So you have to upload application forms, statement of purpose, letter of recommendation, certificate of enrollment, graduation, employment, transcript, language certificate and proof of citizenship documents. So these are the documents you have to upload while applying online and the schedule. So it got announced on March 2nd and the application will be open till March 21st, 2022. So you have plenty of time to apply for this scholarship and the interview will take place in June and the results will be out in July. Now we will see how the online application looks like. So all you have to do is that click here. Then this is the application form. All you have to do is that agree and click next. You could, you could have read the instructions uh, before clicking on agree. So you could have read it and then you can click on agree and then click on next. And this is a form which you will get. So first you have to select the subject that is a scholarship for Asian students studying in Korea and then you have to write your name last name date of birth nationality everything like it's basic form then you have to fill about your education from high school then bachelor's university then uh, maybe if you are applying for phd then you could fill uh, you know ms university and everything and then employment records if you have any and that's all you have to go to next like i, I won't be clicking it because i haven't filled this form but yeah you can go to next and then all you have to do is that upload the documents and then submit the form so that it's like two three steps process so all you have to do is that fill the form then just upload the documents and that's it so this is all about the online application form now we will see what the documents are and i will try to explain a little bit and let's see now to get the application form all you have to do is that click here and you will get all the documents now we will see which all documents they are and i'll try to explain a little bit about it so let's proceed so before we proceed to the next part of video, I have a message for my Indian audience. Bhai, kya kar rahe ho yaar? Subscribe to karo. Kya kar rahe ho ye? Okay. Now moving ahead. So this is checklist, uh, pretty much same like GKS. So as you can see, you have to get all these documents and you know fill these forms and everything. So I'll be explaining how to fill these and you know how to upload that thing. So first thing is that you have to write your name. So you have to write your name as per your passport. So let me uh, clear this thing. Okay, whenever you are filling an online application or offline application for an international scholarship or any international university, it's better to write your name as per the passport. 
so you you can write your name as per the passport then you can write your country let's say india and then move ahead so as you can see the instructions it is said that please submit all the documents in a pdf file and check the appropriate boxes so as i told you before this whole postco scholarship is online and you just have to upload the documents fill the online form and then submit the form so all you have to do is that collect all these documents and you know uh, attach a pdf like a, make a single pdf and then upload the document so the first thing is application form which we will be seeing right now then statement of purpose a recommendation letter so maximum 2 and then the you know certain documents like certificate of bachelor's degree or transcript and masters and master transcripts so these are for phd applicants so now moving ahead certificate of employment so let's say if you're working so you can give off a letter or maybe experience certificate or something like that then the ninth document is proof of citizenship so here you can give you you, you know maybe passport or birth certificate so uh, i will i will suggest you to give birth certificate because in in south korea birth certificate is considered as one of the citizenship proof document so it's better to give birth certificate and also if you don't have that then you can give passport moving ahead uh, certificate of english proficiency test so here you can give either ielts or toefl so many people say that uh, giving a, you know english proficiency test is not a requirement for this scholarship but but let me tell you posco is also a, you know widely competitive scholarship and to get your application more strong it's better to give all these certificates if you have so try to get these certificates and attach all those things and if you have topic then that's that's great that cherry on the top so if you have all these documents all you have to do is that scan it so uh, from document 4 to 11 all you have to do is that scan it scan pdf okay and for the remaining documents 1 2 3 so we will be seeing how to fill this form and that also you need to scan it so let's see and moving ahead to the other instruction so as you can see from 4 to 11 that is 4 to 11 these documents need to be as on a pdf file so all all the documents you have to combine in a single pdf which i was telling you or you can just upload a zip file containing all the documents so either you can make a single pdf let's say the first pdf will be this one then this one so this one like you can combine all the pdfs or you can just put all the pdfs in a zip file and then you can upload that so pretty simple now moving ahead to the application form so as you can see it is also pretty much same about gks so you want to apply for masters degree you check here if you want to apply for doctoral degree you check here or if you want to apply for integrated you just check here so only one program you can apply for right then moving ahead desired university so you can select up to three universities so write the university name division department major so this is optional if you if you know the major you can write it and if you don't know it you can ask university by emailing them about the major and all but it's optional don't worry about too much now this is uh, you know if the, if you read the instructions here it says scholarship will be available only for enrollment in universities and majors as above let's say if you fill these three universities okay and if you get posco scholarship so what you have to do is that you have to contact the university and now fulfill their own admission criteria and get the admission there and your admission after you get the admission your uh, you know studies will be funded by posco so this is a kind of two step process the first step is to get the posco scholarship and the second step is to get an admit from some university which you are filling right here so you have to decide which all universities you have to put so there is no you know there is no limitation which university you have to put it can be any university in south korea as long as it has certain majors related to natural science or engineering so this particular uh, you know scholarship is only for natural science and engineering people so as you can see these are the departments so you can just give a read and you know all these people can apply for this scholarship now moving ahead personal information so you can just paste a photo here maybe a digital photo will also work because we just have to upload the pdf on the website so it's it's uh, digital will also work so now moving ahead to so give a name as per the passport last name then nationality gender everything and then you know date of birth address email id so filling email id is an important thing because they will be contacting you through the email id itself so you know try to give the correct one now academic history you can write about your university let's say if you are applying for masters so you can write your bachelor's university or college then country then department degree and gpa so let's say if you have gpa on 10th scale or 4th scale or 4.5 scale or any scale you can just write as it is and since you will be attaching your transcript so it's better to you know write the gpa as it is and just attach a great explanation certificate with that so that's it 
now moving ahead to employment history if you if you have an employment history you can just fill it and if you don't have it just leave it now language proficiency so as i was telling you toefl toeic gre topic or ilts also so you can fill any any of these language proficiency and if you have it you can fill the date of the examination language which language that was maybe english or korean then the name of the test and the score then if you have received any scholarship maybe from any korean institution so you can mention those things here and at the end of the form 1 you just have to sign here and then write the date in the particular format that's all now moving to the form 2 that is statement of purpose so it is pretty much same like the statement of purpose in global korea scholarship all you have to do is that you know have to introduce yourself like fulfill these particular things like if you see if you see family and education background and these things so from ps of uh, gks you can take these informations like if you are applying for gks also you can take the information from there and you you can just copy paste things here and if you have any future plans so you know in gks also you have to write these things so you can just use those paragraphs here as well so this is like you can type in english or korean or anything you if you want to show off that you know korean so it's like you can give it no problem now this is something uh, you know uh, it's it's unique about postgo scholarship so in gks you don't have to write about research topic as long as you are not applying for research category but in here you have to write about research topic since this scholarship is only for natural science and engineering majors so it's uh, you know it's it's quite easy to write about any research topic all you have to do is that read some research papers get some idea and you know try to explain certain topic or maybe your bachelor's project or something like that so you have to give a detailed research plan to be you know to make your application look unique and how that research is going to impact korea or maybe your country and you know you are all those particular things you have can explain here now moving to form 3 that is the recommendation letters so let's say if you have done bachelor's so you can ask your professor from your university to write a recommendation letter or if you are working somewhere then your supervisor can also write the recommendation letter all he has to do is that write the name nationality and the name of the recommender let's say if your professor is recommending so he he or she has to write doctor and particular name then nationality university or company uh, position or title maybe he is a professor or maybe assistant professor or associate professor whatever he or she is then the telephone number maybe area code and everything and then the email id and then the professor will write about his relationship with you and he will kind of explain it it's pretty much similar like gks uh, recommendation letter and then opinions about your uh, you know application about your strengths capabilities and everything and at the end of it recommender will write his name and then signature and then date so you don't have to seal this particular thing in an envelope like gks all you have to do is that take the recommendation letter take the signatures and seal if possible and you need to scan it so that's all you have to do so these were the documents needed for this postco and as you can see recommendation letter statement of purpose and form 1 so these three forms are there and along with that these particular documents are there so all you have to do is that scan everything so this goes as a single pdf this goes as a single pdf this goes as a single pdf and this combined documents goes as a single pdf so you need four pdfs here so 1 2 3 and this particular fourth pdf fourth pdf containing all these particular items now this was pretty much about this postco scholarship all you have to do is that get these pdfs and fill the online form which i showed in the video and that's all and wait for the results and if you like this video please like this video or share karo yaar and also subscribe to my channel good luck